Hello, welcome to the show. Um, it's been a bit, um, been a bit of a gap between the last episode and this episode. I do apologise, but uh, things have obviously been getting in the way, and uh, I have done a podcast episode of what happened at the FA Cup, and also the Newcastle game. So if you want to listen to that, then it'd be on wherever you normally get your podcasts. Just look for Palace to the core. And um, but today I'm going to be talking about the Leeds game, which took place yesterday, as of recording this video and uh, podcast. And it was uh, it was an interesting game. It was a very tough game, I think, for us. Uh, but uh, let me go into quickly go into the lineups to begin with. Gaeta in goal, Klein, Anderson, Gahey, and Ward at the back. Ward stepping in for Mitchell, who uh, you know has played every game. But I think he was looking really tired at, in Newcastle, and I think Vieira has given him a bit of a rest, which he deserves. I think Gallagher, MacArthur, and Eze in the middle. Eze standing in for Cayute, who also needed a rest. I think. And Ayu Mateta and Zaha up front. So it's a strong squad. I think that's quite a, a decent squad to put out. You know, considering you don't have Mitchell, you don't have Coyote. There's there's a, you know, you don't have Elise in there as well. That was a good, I think that was a good lineup to start with. And, uh, and as the game started off, you know, against Newcastle, we started for a bit slow. And uh, let Newcastle get into the game and get into their rhythm. And it was very hard then for us to just get into our rhythm and to try and play the way that we want to play. Uh, Leeds, I think, had a very similar intention. They wanted to come out and dominate, but uh, we actually gave them a good fight in the early 30 minutes. It was frantic. It was, uh, you know, there were legs flying everywhere. It was, um, you know, challenging, going challenges and, and chasing the ball down from both teams. And it was great to see us fighting like that uh, against what was um, perhaps a slightly bullying Leeds team I think in some respects it was uh you know they were they were working really hard Leeds United and uh they were ch as I say chasing the ball down and that's a similar tactic to what Newcastle used chasing the ball down very quickly stopping us from playing stopping us from getting the ball down and playing it as we like to especially from the back and I think I've said it, I've said it before and I think that's a tactic that more teams are going to be using in the future next season and things like that I think you know when they look at how we play we like to play from the back, which we didn't do much of against Leeds because we didn't really have the ability to do it. They were being chased down quite quickly. But we like to play from the back and we like to, you know, pass it around at the back until we see an opening and bring play, bring teams out and then perhaps put a ball over the top and stuff like that. We weren't really able to do that. We were still trying to put balls over the top, but there wasn't really enough space for us to do it a lot of the time. And, uh, and I think this is one of those tactics that teams are going to start using and they're going to start playing the ball Um you know, they're going to start doing close passes and they're going to start pushing up and trying to stop us from playing. There were some excellent one-touch football uh, moments from us, uh, which I think we needed to do because as soon as we were getting the ball, there was a, at, least, at least one Leeds player getting to, the, getting to us. So it was uh, it was just one of those things that um, it was a really frantic game. But I think we, we, we managed it very well, I think, and especially the latter half of the first half and into the second half. Um, Zaha, it was a bit... It, I think Leeds United were playing kick the Zaha um, in, the, in that particular game. I think every player in the Leeds team kicked Zaha at least once, and um, and it's hard. I'm, you know, I imagine it's going to be hard for Zaha. I think it's hard for the team, but I think it's it's something that's been happening for years. You know, I mean, uh, Zaha has always been one of the most fouled players in the Premier League, and uh, I think that's just the way. The team's focus because he is such a talented player, they focus on him. And because Elise wasn't on the other side, who sometimes draws some of that attention away from Zaha, a lot of the, well, all of the attention was going on Zaha. And um, Eze, Eze played well. Eze was trying to get forward, so was Gallagher. And um, but it was it was it was a bit tight trying to get into the into the areas, trying to get the ball and then actually make a pass before we were getting challenged. Um, but I'll go into a bit later on in depth about that. But in general, it was a very good performance. I think we played incredibly well. We battled really hard, which is what we needed to do against Leeds United. You know, Leeds United had gone back to kind of how they used to play, um, slightly bullying the other team, if you know what I mean, getting in their face and trying to bully them into submissions kind of thing. But we weren't really having any of that, and which is great to see from, from our point of view. It's great to see that we've got that talent, but we've also got the steel to be able to put up with teams like Leeds and still play how kind of how we want to play and still make chances. I mean, we're doing that. So it was great to see that. I think Ayu, Mateta and Zaha up front were, were good. You know, Ayu 
did what he always does now he holds the ball up well he plays other players in he's got a good passing ability he's putting he put in some fantastic crosses uh, against Leeds United Mateta did what he always does he ran really really hard put everything into it and uh, you know had a couple of half chances that I think could have gone in if it, if it had been another day Zaha had a couple of chances as well that uh, again on another day could have gone in so um, it was it was a good overall performance but we didn't get the result we wanted uh, Gallagher and MacArthur and Eze in the middle were very good I think Gallagher and Eze were probably told to sit back a little bit more not be as adventurous as they had been or have been usually um, but they worked really well MacArthur the usual MacArthur performance very solid um, Klein, Anderson, Gahey and Ward Ward really impressed with Ward yesterday and I know I've, I've criticised him at times but you know he had Rafina in his pocket you know Rafina didn't hardly do anything in the game you know Ward but was on him all the time and tracking him back and you know not jumping in with the tackles not flying in with the tackles he was staying on his feet and uh, making it very hard for Rafina and I think he did a fantastic job on the left there so overall it was a great performance I think first half it was a case of almost like 100 percent at each other the whole time practically little moments when we had our a bit of space to do our thing most of the time it was just quick pressing quick closing down making it very hard i don't think you know for all of the energy and commitment that leeds brought to the game they didn't really have an opportunity on goal so much you know they didn't really have many opportunities on goal at all which is partly great from our point of view it's partly because of the hard work that our team put in partly because they looked a little bit blunt up front they didn't seem to have a lot of ideas going forward you know and sometimes they were going forward with such force and such speed that they didn't think to make a, a pass that was going to work or they didn't think about where they were going they just bombed forward you know clattered past everybody and then just threw the ball in and didn't do anything with it so um so that was my impression of it anyway so that's how it that's how it kind of went for most of the game certainly in the second half we we did um start to create a bit more start to have a little bit more possession um and uh, we had Elise he came on for AU and we also had Schlup came on for uh who Schlup come on for Schlup came on for Eze and uh and then we had Mateta go off and we had Benteke come on Benteke only played the last five minutes but he played fairly well uh Elise not getting back to his best you know he was he was getting back to the, the old uh, Elise that we know and love Schlup Schlup didn't play too badly at all. I don't think he should have started. I think it was a, the team that started was the right team. Um, but him coming on gave us a bit more energy in the midfield again. And uh, I think it worked very well. Eze, I think, was going to be substituted. I think he's still on the road to recovery. I think that, uh, obviously, Patrick Vio is going to start playing him more, that he's fully recovered. But it's going to take him a while to get back into the, the way that he was before. So, uh, you know, it was it was always going to be a very difficult situation. In terms of, you know, if we weren't going to play Mitchell, we weren't going to play Coyote. But I think it worked really well, actually, in the end. And I think that we... I think we controlled the majority of the game. And we just kind of didn't have that final spark to get the goal. Which has happened to us a lot this season. You know, we've, we've done all the hard work. Can't really put the ball in the back of the net. I mean, if you look at the stats, we had 17 shots on goal. Leeds had nine. We had seven shots on target. Leeds had two. I mean that's telling really considering how much you know how much they tried to put into the game and how much they got out, got out of it um we had 53 percent possession we did about well maybe 50 passes more than they did 432 our accuracy was slightly higher and uh fouls 13 to 12 and they in leads his favor leads were kicking lumps out of players i mean ailing i have no idea i think he must have a cloak of invisibility that only works on referees because the referee just didn't see the tackles that he was putting in, not just as a, not just to Zaha, I should say, but to other players. He was putting in some awful tackles, did get a booking. And that really surprised me. I think that, you know, and I seem to remember a previous Leeds game when he was very similar to, to, to Zaha and stuff like that. And again, didn't really anything happen to him at all. So um, I think someone on Twitter said that he, might, he must have married the referee's daughter. And I think it's probably coming down to that. You know, he, he There were loads of really nasty tackles going in suspicious tackles that weren't um punished at all which was really sad to see that there were four yellow cards 
Um, two of them was because of an altercation between Rafina and um, Ward, because uh, Rafina put in one of those um, dodgy tackles I was talking about from uh, Leeds United, and uh, Ward took exception to it, which, as you would. So, um, so yeah, and we had six corners. They had three. We had the we had the lion's share of most of the stats. Um, we just couldn't change. We couldn't turn it into a into a goal, which has been a kind of a theme for us this season. I'm hoping that next season that will change and we'll be a bit more um, decisive in front of goal and create a few more goals. And from that point of view, you know, we've got some we've got players in the team who can score goals, but they're not quite doing it just yet. But um, a lot of people have been saying that Edward would have been a good player to bring on. I don't know what the situation is with Edward. You know, he's he's a good player and he's scored some good goals for us, but there's a there's a reason why Patrick Vieira isn't choosing him on a regular basis, and I don't know why that is. Um, maybe it's his work ethic. Maybe he doesn't like tracking back. Uh, maybe it's his attitude. I don't know. I know there were some Celtic fans who were warning us about when what when he when we brought Edward. So maybe there's something around that, I don't know. But there seems to be a reason why Patrick Vieira isn't playing him. And that's uh, that's a bit suspicious. So I don't know what's going to happen in the closed season, whether he will go or whether he will stay. But um, I think closed season, we, we certainly need to find a replacement for Gallagher because I think he's going to leave. I think, although we have got other midfield opportunities, you know, play, people that can come into that role, I think we probably need another person like Gallagher to fill in for what he brings to the team. I think we also probably need a a, a backup left back um, because Mitchell and, and you know, Ward did a great job against Leeds, but he hasn't got many seasons left, you know, in his locker. So I think we need to find a backup for Mitchell, who um, who can step in if he's unavailable or, or just to give him a rest. But um, but let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments or uh, on Instagram if you uh, if you agree with me or if you don't if you think that the game could have gone very differently i'd love to hear your thoughts do let me know and until the next time bye bye